Welcome to Weld.com. I've been doing some videos on uh, on starts and stops. I want to do in the one in the uphill progression of the route with a, a restart and possibly a repair. I'll, I'll stop twice in the middle of a route. One of them I'll mess up and we'll go in and make a repair so we can show how to blend this bead together. And then I'll do a hot pass and do a restart with the hot pass going uphill. Today I'm running off an Everlast 221 STI. First time for me to, I think I've run three or four rods on this thing, so this is gonna be a learning experience for me. Let me get dressed, get my gear on, be right back. I did make a change on the machine. I went ahead and turned the arc force up to 100%. I'm trying to hold a good short arc in here, carry that keyhole uphill. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there and buff this out, leave everything alone. This is a substantial keyhole, so I don't need to grind anything. <coughs> I'm just gonna clean it out where I intend to restart. So I'm gonna use the same rod, so I'm gonna run out again up in here somewhere, and we'll do yet another restart. I'm gonna restart down below the keyhole on the root pass, long arc it a little bit, let the rod get running and establish itself, move up to the keyhole and pause, try to blend this together. Remember what I see on this side is not what's on the back side. It's lower, that the high spot of the root bead is lower than what I see, so I have to fill that up before I keep going. go buff this off I'll be right back <coughs> okay I have two restarts in here and then I had something else happen and I'm gonna tell you about it first restart is right down here and looks like I have just a little bit of a cup or a line in there not too awful concerned with it I don't like it again this first time I've run this machine so I'm learning how it's gonna run the second one was up here did better as far as the blend and everything. The whole root profile looks like it's in there. A little tall and peaked right here. What happened here? I had this at 100% arc force down here. And on this last rod, I turned it clear to zero, okay? I'm still curious as to why the machine wants to quit, start up, quit, start up. Uh, the, anyway, I, I turned it clear to zero. Well, up here in the last couple of inches, it's like my tack was weak up here and it was shrinking, you know, getting tight groove or whatever. I should have stopped, turned the amperage up, ground it out. But what I did was I just stuck the rod in there harder and harder. The arc never went out. It just kept running. And I thought, wow, that's cool. That's what we need. I got a little peaked profile up here at the top, but Hey, we'll run a bunch more and we'll, we'll kind of learn all the adjustments on the machine. Again, this whole deal is about restarts, figuring stuff out. So we're right here and right here. And the bead profile is okay. Now I went ahead and ground my root and got the profile down on the top. I've got a little bit of light slag on the sides and the toes. I'm not concerned with it because we're going to stitch an uphill hot pass with 6010 
we're digging all that stuff out and I want to do two more restarts out here on the on the front of this. Let me grab my hood, I'll be right back. This is odd. Let me buff this out. I'm going to make an arc force adjustment. When I restart this hot pass to go up, I want to strike the arc above what I've already done, bring it down and tie into this and keep stitching and go up. Okay, so again, I'm, I'm striking the arc, kind of long arcing a little bit so I'm not depositing a lot of stuff. Set it down in this button or shelf and start stitching through that. So I had one restart in here, and I have a restart here on the fill pass. Now we've done multiple processes on, or pre procedures on plates and stuff, and we've talked about variations of rod. This particular run that I would be doing right now, when I, when I put the root in there and I did the hot pass, you probably saw me step up, freeze the weld pool, bring it back down and wash it side to side, trying to leave it flat. Uh, and dig the, the slag out of the wagon tracks or whatever. So this, to finish this off, if I was gonna do it, I'd probably reach for an eighth inch, 7018, leave the amperage alone, leave the amperage at 100 amps and just run this thing uphill. Why? Plates are already hot, amperage is good, the right depth and width. It wouldn't take much of a weave back and forth at all to fill this thing in. So uh, if I had to run stringer beads, I would probably go back to a 332nd and run two stringer beads. So that'd be my preference. If I was going to stringer beads, two 332nd runs. If I was going one single slight weave, I'd go with the eighth inch to finish it up. Quite a bit to fill here, so the eighth inch would be perfect. First time for me to run this machine, I'm noticing some things here. I'm a little concerned the, the arc is like, fluttering out and I don't get it because I'm holding the short arc here so I'm gonna have to study this and, and we'll definitely report back we're gonna run we're gonna run everything on this machine eventually so I'll get to it and I'll find out what's going on if I'm doing something wrong here or, or what so I hope this helps if you have questions about how to blend and just redo the restarts I think the whole thing is practice let's practice you know uh, practice till you get good and then you really start practicing so I hope this helps out. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Please subscribe to the videos. Remember all the BS. Be safe. Thank you. Spanking my coupons. <laughs>